Hey loved ones, uh, we wanted to share with you what we were able to experience. We were able to go through Montgomery as we made our way down to the Gulf Shores from Nashville. Very glad that we went. Um, it was very difficult um, to experience uh, what, you know, certainly what the African Americans went through. Um, the horrors of, sl of slavery is, um, it's just, it's, it's just absolutely <laughs> horrid. And, um, and so that was a, a very difficult thing um, to experience uh, and very important that we were there and we're very thankful for that. Um, in the midst of the museum, there was a quote on the wall uh, by an amazing uh, woman named Phyllis Wheatley. And if you don't know who she is, she was actually um, brought into slavery as a young girl. But she, um, even as, as, as growing up as a young girl, uh, was an incredible writer and poet and um, so it amazes me in the midst of, you know, her being enslaved, um, the gifts that God would have given her. And so anyway, this is the quote that was on the wall and it just so touched my heart. And I, I pray that this touches your heart as well. It says, in every human breast, God has implanted a principle, which we call love of freedom. It is impatient of oppression and pants for deliverance. And it just really moved me. And I, again, I'm hopeful that this is moving you as well. But I love that concept of um, we all have this principle that is a love of freedom. And, you know, certainly uh, as we look to now in the future, we all need to be focused on that, that there would be this love of freedom for everyone. How blessed we are in this country to have the freedoms we have. Um, you know, as we sit here, there's still 50 million people in our um, across the world that are enslaved still today. So we have a lot of work to do. But I hope these words from this amazing slave from so long ago, beautiful Phyllis Wheatley, that love of freedom. Um, we just pray that that is inspiring today. I know that that's, um, you know, moving our hearts. And um, anyway, we're thankful to share this with you.